Welcome back again. Okay, are you ready to hunt down some guinea pigs to take your survey? In this lesson, we will learn about the importance of pretesting in quantitative market research. After this lesson, you will determine your pretest strategy. You will be able to pretest your survey with a representative sample of respondents and refine it based on a review of the results. So let's get started. You figured out how to write your questions, which question types to use, and have chosen appropriate response options. You may be eager to implement your survey. However, there's an important step before you launch. This is the pretest. In quantitative market research, to pretest means to verify that your questions are sound with a select group of people who will provide you with feedback. As a general rule, you should aim to pretest all your surveys and forms with at least five people. Even with this small amount of people, you'll be surprised at how many improvements you can make. Piloting is only really needed for a large or complex survey, and it takes significantly more time and effort. Let's walk through the pretesting of your survey. Step one in the process is to pretest your survey. To do this, you would find five to 10 people from your target group for testing. Once you've finished designing your survey questionnaire, find five to 10 people from your target group to pretest. If you can't get people from your exact target group, then find people who are as close as possible. I once designed a survey that was going to be completed by rock and roll musicians in another country. There wasn't enough budget available for us to go to this other country to pretest it. So we found some rock and roll musicians in our own state to test it. Try to get a range of different people who are representative of your target group. For example, if your target group is young people age 15 to 25, try to include some who are younger and some who are older, boys and girls with different socioeconomic backgrounds. Step two in the process is to have the person take the survey as if they're really completing it and to talk out loud as they complete it so you can understand the process that they're thinking. To do this, you would ask the five people you chose to complete the survey while thinking out loud. Once you've found your testers, ask them to complete the survey one at a time. They shouldn't be able to watch each other complete it. The testers should complete the survey the same way that it will be completed in the actual project. So if it's an online survey, they should complete it online. If it's a verbal survey, you should have a trained interviewer asking the questions. While they are completing the survey, ask them to think out loud. Each time they read and answer a question, they should tell you exactly what comes to their mind. Take notes on everything they say. Step three in the process is to observe how they complete the survey. To do this, you should also observe them completing the survey. Look for places where they hesitate and make mistakes. This is an indication that the survey questions and layout are not clear enough and need to be improved. Keep notes on what you observe. So now you're ready to pretest your survey in a practice activity. After you do the pretest, you can get feedback from the respondents. You can also discuss this with your peers. So now that you've gotten feedback from a representative sample, here's how you would refine it based on that feedback. One, go through all the questions and check what each person said when they were filling out the survey. Two, make changes on the questions that change the content accordingly. Three, pretest again to make sure you have taken care of each and every problem. Well, that's it for this lesson. Now you should be able to pretest the questionnaire with a representative sample of respondents, and refine it based on the review of the results.